Maybe she looked like it was a laser sword or something. No, no, no. <laughs> something out of Star Wars. <laughs> okay, Vintimo sounds like it's noon. So uh, let's go to a quieter location up there to start our tour. So follow me, please. <clears throat> see ya, see ya. See ya. Everybody, good morning. How are you? Good morning. 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 Good then I will try to outline the history of uh, the country for you. Uh, not many specific, don't, don't worry, there won't be a list of uh, kings or anything like that because that's boring. Uh, I will try to make it in interesting for you. And then uh, after that we'll walk in front of the St. Stephen's Basilica. I will talk about religions, the church itself, then uh, about the Hungarian currency. And then we will walk towards the riverfront and I'll uh, say a few words about Hungarian food, Hungarian language. I will even teach you some. Hungarian? Would you like to learn? Yes. Good. It's very useful in this country to be able to speak a few words in Hungarian because that's uh, one of the few ways to make people smile. Okay. Then I'll talk about the thermal baths. Uh, anybody planning to go to a thermal bath? That's a minority. Nobody else? We you? Have you went yesterday. Which one did you go to? Yeah, big one. Big one? Cheney. <laughs> there are quite a few big ones. There are actually some that are bigger than that one. And, um, <clears throat> Yeah, and then uh, at the riverfront, uh, I will talk about the Danube, about the Buddha site, and then we'll visit the so-called Shoes on the Danube Memorial. Have you heard about that one? Yes. Yeah. Okay, it's quite a sad uh, memorial from a very, very dark part of Hungary's history. And then uh, uh, we'll finish the tour at the Hungarian Parliament. This is uh, this sounds like a lot, but I will put it into one hour for you, okay? Because that's pretty much the attention span of people nowadays. One hour. After that, you can just go bored and scan your phone, take pictures, selfie, get lost, go to the restroom. Hang on a minute. We came before the internet. We, 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 we got up all okay, the levels okay. quite low. All right. Okay. Well, um, I understand that some people are able to take two or three hours, but the average is one hour nowadays. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> so first about Budapest, the city. Uh, Budapest has two major parts. You are right now on the flat Pest side, which has the government and financial districts, most of the public transport, the very exciting Jewish quarter, which is about uh, five minutes walk away from here it's that way. And it has 280 bars and restaurants, so it's the Bohemian district. So this is the more significant part of the city. In the middle, middle lies the river Duna, or Danube, as you call it. And uh, on the other side is a whole lot more laid back, mellow, like uh, the Buddha site has only 600,000 people and this site has 1.2 million. So Budapest has uh, uh, 1.8 million people altogether and uh, the population of the country is 9.7 million. And the second largest city in this country has 200,000 people. So you can imagine, uh, there's Budapest and everything else. Yeah. This isn't like uh, Scotland with Glasgow and Edinburgh, or this is not like Poland with Krakow and uh, Warsaw. So there's no two big cities competing. We win. <laughs> Budapest, okay? And um, actually, the, even the name of the city derives from uh, the presence of the thermal springs. Buda is a Slavic word which means, uh, which comes from voda, which means water. And uh, piac comes from the Slavic word hot oven. So basically the name of the city is hot water. Yes. Okay? And uh, now about the history of the country, we Hungarians are originally from Central Asia. That's uh, 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 the area of today's Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Mongolia. And we migrated here via Turkey in the year 895. Then first Christian uh, kingdom was established in the year 1000. Or oh, even the stars, yeah. even the sun is ready to shine. And then um, in uh, the 13th century came the Mongols and killed just about everybody. Hungary was repopulated by today's uh, Saxonic, Slavic, Jewish, Gypsy, Prussian, Bohemian, everything, big mix of peoples. Then uh, from 1541 for 150 years came the Turkish times. Uh, we were under, Tur under Turkish occupation. After that, we were under Austrian occupation for 150 years. 
then a brief gold, golden era followed uh, between 1867 and 1914. We were part of the Austro-Hungarian monarchy. Uh, that's when everything was everything that you like about Budapest was built. The Austrians paid for the music. I mean, the buildings. Yeah. They, 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 they financed Hungary's uh, or uh, Hungary's happiness. Then came World War One. We lost two thirds of the country's historical territory between the two world wars. Anti-Semitism and uh, nationalism followed. Hello. Are you for the walking tour? Yes. yes. Good. Where are you from? England. Well, don't you say. <laughs> almost almost yeah, everybody. Yeah. 65, 70% of this group is uh, from uh, from the UK. So, um, yeah, I was. You, you only missed out on about a thousand years of history, but you can ask. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, between the two world wars, we became Hitler's allies. And in 1940, uh, we entered World War II. Big mistake. Uh, we lost World War II as well. Then came 45 years of brutal uh, communism, not just in Hungary, but in uh, Poland, Czechoslovakia, East Germany, uh, Romania, Bulgaria, Albania, and Yugoslavia as well. Uh, this was a, a system that was uh, deemed to, uh, to fail in the first place because it's a bogus economy and a corrupt ideology. And it's, uh, it's a large social experiment which pretty much their names. Here in the year when they won the awards. So that's why you see these stars Stand in such a way that you uh, leave a little bit of room for pedestrians to pass us by because uh, less of the current is from. <laughs> so, uh, the that uh, said to a fat Austro Hungarian police uh, We had one of them in every corner of the 19th century, and uh, the reason why we have to be telling is Hungarian food is, uh, is um, uh, very, Hungarian cuisine is very, very clean. But uh, it's based mostly on meat, especially pork, for historical reasons. When we were uh, under Turkish rule, the Turks eat everything but pork. So uh, that's why, uh, don't worry. Uh, there's a restaurant, an Indian restaurant very close by called the Gopi Dutch. And uh, as far as Turkey, almost every restaurant is a Western Okay, uh, the reason why we stopped here, just for those who haven't heard me, is to take a nice group photo. If you're not a secret agent or without your official partner, then, uh, then, you, then you should be in. And I would like to ask uh, someone to hold my wonderful umbrella. Okay.
Okay, yeah. so I, I promise you uh, that I will teach you a few words in oh. Hungarian. Are you ready to learn? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, again, most important word in every language when you're a traveler is obviously thank you. So uh, please re repeat after me. Köszönöm is, uh, köszönöm is thank you. Köszönöm. Yeah, we did that one. Köszönöm. Good. Uh, yes is again. 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 And no is nem. Mm -hmm. And, and Nem értem is I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. People need to use that a lot. <laughs> Once you say köszönöm, then they're going to start babbling. Ah, oh, blah, 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 and then you have to go nem értem. <laughs> Again, nem értem. Nem értem. Good. How was thank you? Köszönöm. Köszönöm. Good. As long as you remember köszönöm, you'll be fine. Okay? Let's continue. By a very it was uh, designed by a very savvy Englishman. This savvy Englishman was called William Tierney Quad, and he was uh, commissioned by the Hungarian government to, uh, to uh, uh, design a bridge. And he was given a year to do so, and he came back after three weeks and said, I'm done. The Hungarians went like, How? Don't you don't mind.
Does this record sound as well? Yes. <laughs> you can send me a good video if you want me. I can do that. <laughs> okay, so uh, we stopped here because again we have to go into a little bit of history. So uh, between 1940 and 1945, as I said, we were members of uh, uh, the uh, Axis. We were on Hitler's side in World War II. And during this time, approximately 800,000 Hungarians were put on cattle wagons and uh, then taken to Auschwitz, Auschwitz, Birkenau, Treblink, uh, Bergen, Belsen, Mauthausen. Most of these people were uh, uh, taken because they were Jewish. But there were a whole lot of their victims here to the riverfront, they made them take their shoes off and they shut them into the river. This is for logistics reasons because you know, Germans are good at logistics. Uh, where do you put 25,000 bodies? It's uh, not a problem. So uh, that's why the, the river is the most, the most comfortable place to go further. And to commemorate that, the Jewish community in 2004 uh, built a row of stainless uh, uh, steel shoes. Uh, that look very, very, or horrifyingly real uh, to commemorate this, uh, this horrific act. And uh, the river but still has a lot of bones in it because, uh, because uh, human bodies have a lot of bones in, in them. So it's impossible to extract every single one. And uh, that's why the Israeli Zeka, uh, a semi-religious military organization, and the Hungarian army are working together to extract as many bones as possible to be taken for holy burial. Okay? Let's go and take a look at the memorial.
here. <laughs> and um, and uh, this is the uh, uh, Supreme Court, the one with the two towers. The one next to it is the Ministry of Agriculture. And behind me is the Hungarian parliament. The parliament, as I tell, uh, said before, it's also close to 96 meters uh, high, just like, uh, just like uh, the Basilica built between 1884 and 1904. And if you like a uh, beautiful interior, I think it's possible now. In the summertime, it, uh, you have to book two weeks uh, before you arrive. Uh, but uh, now I think uh, it's easy to get a ticket for today or for tomorrow. The visitor center of the parliament is on the is on the opposite side of the building. It's an underground facility, and there they have uh, uh, information on the ticket prices, availability, and times. So if there's going to be one interior visit that you have to pay for, that you will do in the city, this should be the one, in my opinion. The parliament has 199 members, and uh, the real actual boss in this country are the prime minister and the prime minister's cabinet, and they are elected every four years. Uh, the last elections were in 2018, and uh, the next one will be in, obviously, 2022. Mayoral elections in cities, however, so city elections are every five years, so they don't really overlap. Sometimes they do, most of the time they don't. Okay. Now, just a bit of orientation. If you uh, go to uh, the corner right there, there's a wonderful chocolate museum. The chocolate museum has great hot chocolate and a uh, Hungarian marzipan. And uh, sandwiches are the place to just uh, warm up and then maybe use the bathroom. And if you uh, uh, take a slight right at the corner, you will see a, a monument with a five-pointed star on it. That's the last, <coughs> excuse me, the last standing Soviet war memorial of the city. Before, uh, before uh, uh, 1990, we had over 80 memorials in this city, all glorifying communism to some extent. Most of these were cut down and taken to a park outside the city center called the Memento Park. It's an absolutely boring park, uh, unless you have a, a professional tour guide with you who will explain what the st uh, statue symbolize. But uh, um, I think a lot of people just rate it 3 out of 10 as an experience and it's simply too far away to be interesting. If you want to learn more about communism, however, I would say go to the House of Terror. The House of Terror is a shocking, vivid museum on Andrashi Avenue. Andrashi Avenue, the beginning of which uh, where we started the tour, 50 meters away from it. Okay? Yeah, so you should go to the House of Terror, is my opinion. Okay. Um, <coughs> Well, do you have any questions at this point? <coughs> well, I have to uh, rephrase that question. Do you have any questions left? <laughs> but it's not that I have a question. Did you like this tour? Was it good? Yes. Thank you very much. This is the end of it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, you are very kind. Thank you. If you like to leave anything, you can. Coffee shop here? Yeah, there's a chocolate museum. There's a coffee shop.